but certain kind of productivity. Because certain kinds of activities probably um, could go on until you get to the you know the ninety percent yeah. time time thing where you're we're just doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. And um, so I have a little plot I want to show you, which uh, that was my <laughs> my, uh, my old thesis advisor, which was a plot of um, chance of getting a grant. <laughs> <laughs> versus creativity. It <laughs> 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 like this. It's <laughs> an important point to, look, for, uh, important point to realize that at zero creativity, you're still a... It is X is X over here, I think. And I think this is a little bit the other side. You know, that, uh, that, uh, that it's not an argument against what you say, but it is an argument about at uh, least people, how people perceive this. So, um, so what do you think about this graph? <laughs> well, I think it's perfectly robust. It's right. <laughs> 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 it's I don't like it. It's, you don't uh, like it? No. How should it be in reality? Um, I would think that zero creativity, we should have a fair. <laughs> 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 Uh, you can do anything you like. I mean, uh, I'd be happy. Uh, first yeah. of all, I'd be happy with people with little creativity having grants. Okay. So I'd, <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd go on. Like you know, this is people with little creativity. No, uh, this is no cor this is, uh, <laughs> this is very small. There's a threshold here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is where it's now, and this is where it should be, right? Yeah. Where it's, it's, uh, where it's now is... Listen, this is where it is now. Yeah. It's like saying that creativity isn't valued properly in our profession. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah. 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 So or is, creativity or is, creativity is one of those People things that sits... They don't know when they see it. Right? I mean, look, I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I think one's glossing over a number of points, right? I mean, you have to recognize creativity for its, but you have to see it to know it's there, right? And of course, it's mixed up with the chance of failure. And uh, that's what we talked about choosing a problem, which is both how much go you go into the unknown on one axis and how easy and hard is it on the other axis. And you want to choose something that's on the Pareto front of both axes. Because uh, with one axis, it's a one dimension, what's called the more one dimensional man or woman. You can't figure out things in real life, and that's well known. If you only think about one axis, you become what sociologists call the one-dimensional man or woman. Very care be careful about that. Because there's, a, there's one big dimension in this country and you know, all over the world that you tend to think is the only dimension. It's very dangerous. So raise that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there are many things mixed in here, but I definitely, what I take from what you said is that in your someone at a different stage of the scientific life cycle than me and most people in the room. Mm. What's important at your stage of the scientific life cycle? Mm. Right? And I think that if you look at social psychology again, you look at the life cycle of the human beings, like the theory of Eric Erickson, the growth stages, where you solve your trust versus mistrust, your autonomy versus shame, initiative versus guilt, intimacy versus isolation, generativity. The end of the life comes despair versus integrity. <laughs> what does integrity mean? <laughs> Hold on. It means I'm passing sorry. something on to the next generation. Looking yeah. at yourself like in a, in a big, big list, as you do, a big list of, of generations of scientists. Yeah. And here's something to do is something that's we decide, because scientists decide what science. Right. Cultural change can happen. It's very slow. It's happened all over. If you look at feminism, if you look at worker relations, 100 years ago, there were no benefits. Children were working in the mines. Cultural changes does happen. Yeah, a lot of people will have to suffer the changes in recent. I'm not so sure because in science, which is like a cultural flagship of Western culture, is the place to make a change, and it's up to us. And working less is one step a person can do <laughs> to enhance the, w the value they place on their own nurturing and their own creativity. 
is a prerequisite for the whole field, of course. Okay, so let's tie it up like this to what I started with. And now, since it's almost the end of the talk, we can finish here. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you.